you can replay that. <laughs> Nintendo Switch. Our vision was a home system you could play together anytime, anywhere. Two detachable Joy-Con controllers, countless play possibilities. From day one, all of you have shown the world what that means. Whether playing at home or on the go, from low to on high. Where will Nintendo Switch take you next? To a smashing invitational cheered by fans and challengers? Or on a journey? through verdant fields and viridian cities in a timeless quest to catch them all. Uh, here, David, look up Forza for him on the story. Weeks ago, we showed you Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, a grand new Pokemon adventure through the vibrant Kanto region where your partner, Pikachu or Eevee, is always by your side. The two Add the transformative power of Nintendo Switch 
And you can play as you like, anywhere you like, or for the first time in this series, catch or battle Pokemon on one system with a friend. You can even transfer a Pokemon into the game from Pokemon Go. This is a Pokeball Plus. You can use it like a Joy-Con controller with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Or play the entire game with it alone. You can put a Pokemon into the Pokeball Plus, then bring it with you. It sounds like there's already one inside. It's the mythical Pokemon Mew. Mew comes exclusive with every Pokeball Plus and can join you on your journey through the game. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, and the Pokeball Plus will be available on November 16th. Discover new friends and challenges as you explore this mysterious and enchanting world. Wherever you go, with whoever you like, only on Nintendo Switch. Now, let's check out something else we can't wait to show you. Okay, you ready for this? All right. He's desperate. Don't think about it. <laughs> All or nothing. Yes! <laughs> Okay. We gotta change it up though. That's gonna go too fast. Let's do it this way. We need to have like some angles. Okay. That looks cool. Ready? Ready? Do it. Oh, game on. Okay. Oh. Really? Come on. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's do another one. Are you guys ready to do this? Alright, hang on this one here. Fasten inside. Okay. Alright, ready? Yeah. <laughs> wow. One more. <laughs> one more. We should do one more. Rematch. <laughs> Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess, a gift to help guide the lost. Now, the goddess watches over Fodlan from her kingdom above as the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. It's time to measure your worth as an instructor. Such a brutal, irrational world we live in. Some believe the crests, tokens of the goddess's power, are necessary to maintain order. But they're wrong, teacher. The crests are to blame. to our ruin. So take your first step. It's now or never! I will return here someday, my teacher. Promise me that you won't forget me.
I can't wait to drop off the battle bus and meet some of you on the battlefield in Fortnite. And on Nintendo Switch, you can have the complete Battle Royale experience, whether playing together online with friends in the same room or around the world. Available at 10 a.m. Pacific time today. Nintendo Switch, a home console where you can access a full range of games content, including a wealth of groundbreaking games from our independent development community. Your support for indie games on Nintendo Switch has been inspiring. And to all of you, as well as all of the developers behind these rich and varied experiences, from all of us here at Nintendo, thank you. Let's pull back the curtain on a few more, including two we're showing for the first time here today. Aspiring chefs, ready your cleavers, pots, and cutting boards in Overcooked 2, a sequel that's brimming with more recipes, characters, kitchens, and white-knuckle mayhem. Prepare for the ultimate cook-off with new features like the ability to throw ingredients, kitchens that can change on the fly, and with Nintendo Switch, the opportunity to bake, barbecue, or broil with another player in wireless, local, and online play. Save the world from clumsy cooking when Team 17's frantic food juggler arrives on August 7th. Hop on a snail, hoard berries, or wipe out the enemy's queen to claim victory in Killer Queen Black. Redesigned from the ground up, Liquid Bit and Bumble Bear Games acclaimed arcade extravaganza that became a multiplayer phenomenon is coming to Nintendo Switch. And for the first time on console, two teams of up to four each can square off in exciting battles. Play it first on Nintendo Switch later this year. And finally, venture through the mysterious subterranean landscapes of a vast forgotten kingdom in Teen Cherry's Hollow Knight, an action adventure filled with gripping combat and haunting secrets. Hand-drawn characters and sublime scenery abound in this sweeping platformer that offers endless hours of intricate exploration. We revealed earlier this year that Hollow Knight was coming to Nintendo Switch, and I'm pleased to announce that the game, packed with all the previous downloadable content, is available on the Nintendo eShop starting today. These are just a few of the terrific indie games you can play in the months ahead. After this presentation, stay tuned for Nintendo Treehouse Live, streaming right from the E3 show floor, where our Nintendo game experts will give you a closer look at some of these games and more. And I personally cannot wait to watch as intrepid challengers test their mettle in our Splatoon 2 World Championship and Super Smash Brothers Invitational 2018. The action starts immediately following Nintendo Treehouse Live. Before we move on, I have an important update on a game I know fans have been looking forward to. Octopath Traveler from Square Enix is coming exclusively for Nintendo Switch on July 13th. And you can download a brand new demo for the game from the Nintendo eShop on June 14th. Now, Let's take another action-packed look at some more experiences coming soon to Nintendo Switch.
Hi everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi of Nintendo. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. Recently, it's been nice to see people pull their Nintendo Switch systems from their bags to play, even when they have only a little bit of free time. Every time I see that, I can't help but smile. At Nintendo, we approach development with the goal of delivering new and unique games to surprise people all over the world. And we're thankful for the many publishing partners also making games for Nintendo Switch. Today, we share just a small portion of what we're currently working on. We hope you will look forward to what's coming next on Nintendo Switch. Now, it's time to share information on a certain title. I'll turn it over to someone I think you know. Hi, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. Today, I'd like to introduce you to the new Super Smash Bros. game for the Nintendo Switch. As you may know, Super Smash Bros. is an action game about smashing beloved game characters off the screen. Many fighters have appeared in this series. I'm sure you are all eager to find out who will be joining the roster this time. So we made a video to showcase some fighters appearing in the game. The number next to each fighter signifies the order in which they joined the Super Smash Bros. series. Please take a look.
see that. That's right. Every fighter in Super Smash Bros. history is joining the battle. Indeed, absolutely every Super Smash Bros. fighter ever is in this game, whether they were originally DLC or only appeared once in the past. We believe that's what players want, so we made the impossible possible. Any way you slice it, this one has the most smash for your buck. Simply put, this is the biggest crossover in gaming history. Once again, worlds will collide. Even so, your starting roster may be as small as the original Nintendo 64 game. We've streamlined the conditions for unlocking fighters, and we want to make the process interesting, so it feels like you're constantly recruiting popular characters to your side. Eight-player battles are also making a return. See what happens when you pit many different fighters against one another. Now let's take a closer look at certain fighters by highlighting how they've changed since their last appearance. Mario's still easy to use, but we did add a little something for someone from his latest adventure. He can also wear his wedding and builder outfits. Link dons his champion's tunic from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. His bombs are now remotely detonated and his final smash unleashes ancient arrows. He can also wear Link's familiar tunic of the wild. Although it's been a while, the two-in-one fighter, the Ice Climbers, are back. Work together with Nana. Once she's gone, you're in serious trouble. Ike's outfit from Fire Emblem Path of Radiance returns, along with his look from Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Now you can use both versions for the first time. The two different versions are even voiced a little differently. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. We now have the female version of Pikachu, complete with a heart-shaped tail. Did you notice Pikachu Libre is a girl? Fox's design is now based on Star Fox Zero, and his Final Smash has received an overhaul. This time, Final Smashes are straight to the point, so you can get right back to fighting. Falco's Final Smash features an unorthodox ship formation that's more unruly than Fox's. Either way, the Landmaster has been retired. In one-on-one -on -one fights, Ryu will always face his opponents, just like in his original game appearances. It's a small touch that reduces accidental command inputs. Charge moves, like Samus's charge shot, can now power up in mid-air. You can cancel with jump or dodge, but you'll be open to attack. Marth's dancing blade is faster, and it's easier to unleash one after another. This holds true for Roy and Lucina, too. In addition, Marth is now fully voiced in English. Keep your eyes open! Back by popular demand, veteran fighter Snake is sneaking back into the fray. It's been 10 years since his last appearance in the series, so we can finally make some new dream matches come true. Of course, Shadow Moses Island is back too. King DDD's final smash is basically a cage fight where he unleashes missiles and a jet hammer. Pichu is also returning from Super Smash Bros. Melee. Its electric shock still damaged itself too, so be careful. In The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Zelda's more into research than fighting, so her design is from The Legend of Zelda, a link between worlds. Zelda is much more elegant and regal than our other fighters, but we made sure you wouldn't underestimate her energetic attacks. Her final smash is a ceiling move called Triforce of Wisdom. Sonic's final smash, Super Sonic, is more souped up than ever. Either you're too slow, or he's lightning fast. Pac-Man also got a speed boost this time around. Looping around the stage sounds just like Pac-Man, don't you think? Pokemon Trainer is back with Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. 
You can change Pokemon during battle, and this time there's no penalty for sticking with one, so feel free to pick your main. Also, you can play as a female trainer for the first time. Some fighters, like Captain Falcon, trigger a dramatic slow-mo effect on strong attacks in one-on-one -on -one fights. And of course, his hazardous big blue stage is making a return. Just like before, you can play as Cloud in his Final Fantasy VII costume or his Final Fantasy VII Advent Children costume. Now you can see his limit gauge near his damage percentage at all times. Special displays are available for certain other fighters too. For example, you can see how much longer Robin can use Leaven Sword and Tomes. For Villager, we made it easier to see what you've pocketed. Between the male and female versions, there are eight different villagers. Bowser's final smash, Giga Bowser, is even bigger and better. He's now as big as Bowser from the Yoshi's Island game. All of Mr. Game & Watch's moves are back, and he looks even more like he did in his original games. His transformations are more full of character than ever. Young Link from Super Smash Bros. Melee is making a comeback that makes three links for the first time. Lon Lon Milk, anyone? After 10 long years, Wolf makes his return. His design is based on Star Fox Zero, and each of his moves has received a significant upgrade. Kirby is his usual puffy self, but we've added a little something to his stone ability. He has a copy ability for every fighter, so the more fighters we have, the more challenging he becomes to develop. Shulk used to require repeated button presses to toggle Monado arts, but now you can choose a specific one with a button press and a quick directional tilt. Sure is handy to change arts on the fly. We also added Fiora to his final smash. Ganondorf rises again, returning to his popular design from The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. And for his final smash, he becomes Demon King Gan. Me Fighter's proportions have been tweaked a bit. There are three types, Brawler, Sword Fighter, and Gunner. The moveset for each type has also been enhanced, and you can now choose from 12 voice options. We're hoping to get this fighter ready for online play. Smash has three sacred treasures. This time, he'll be riding in style on the lightning chariot. In the last game, Zero Suit Samus's final smash called in her gunship. This time, she uses her power suit to fire a devastating laser. When Olimar gets damaged, you'll see a crack in his helmet. But don't worry, it'll get fixed up right away. Bayonetta's costumes from her first two games are both available. Listen closely and you'll hear differences in the sound of them. It seems we have a guest. Rodan appears as an assist trophy. Warrior's final smash, Warrior Man has changed quite a bit. After transforming, he no longer uses individual attacks to get the job done. Donkey Kong's final smash is all rapid-fire punches, like Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. You'll notice that he and other fighters have expressive new facial animations. Little Mac's final smash is now a rush of blows from Giga Mac. In fact, all final smash moves in the game get right to the punch. Ness's new final smash calls on Paula and Pooh. Of course, Jeff still shows up as an assist trophy. Likewise, Lucas's final smash features Kumatora and Boney. 
At first glance, ReFit Trainer seems the same, but her face has a new look. I wavered a bit on whether to change it, but it was a request from the WeFit developers. We've included all the hazards from both versions of Mega Man Stage from Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. And for his final smash, say hello to Proto Man and Bass. Palutena's special attacks have been streamlined this time around. And her down special is now both a counter and a deflector. Rob has a new gauge on his chassis, showing how much fuel he has left for hovering. Notice the Epsilon symbols next to Lucina and Dark Pit's numbers? Each of these fighters are based on another fighter in the game. We're treating these fighters a little differently, and have decided to call them Echo Fighters. Allow me to introduce a brand new Echo Fighter. Daisy joins the roster as Peach's Echo Fighter. She fights in a similar manner as Peach, but they have different characteristics, which we hope you'll enjoy. Have fun playing as your favorite princesses. All in all, if you add up the changes we're making, there could be tens of thousands. I hope you're looking forward to some serious matchups. And here's a new fighter. Inkling is a completely new addition to the roster. If you ink opponents, they'll take more damage from attacks. Different weapons are available as smash attacks or special attacks. The splatter shot, splat bomb, splat roller, and the final smash, killer whale. You can actually run out of ink, so it's important to refill by pressing the B button while shielding. Inkling Boy also debuts alongside Inkling Girl. Inklings are very fashionable. All eight have their own outfits. And each has their own ink color, so matches get really bright. By the way, we added in the Squid Sisters as an assist trophy. During their live concert, the camera zooms in for a close-up. That means it's easier to get knocked off the screen. While we're on the topic of assist trophies, let me share some additional information. As you may know, assist trophies lend helpful support in battles. You can KO assist trophies by inflicting damage, and now you get points for it too. However, some assist trophies will remain unbeatable. Maybe an unexpected guest will photobomb your battle. Yep, it's him. There's a wide variety, more than 50 of them appear in the game. Of course, we're also adding even more Pokemon and items. We can't wait to show you. There are a variety of stages available in this game as well, including a massive list of returning stages. If you get a group together to play, it'll be a challenge to hit them all. The graphics have been improved as well. Let's get a look at some stages from various games.
stages now have both Battlefield and Omega forms too. These versions hover above an abyss. Their sizes and terrain are all the same, so savor the simplicity with music and background from your favorite series. Let's take a sneak peek at the new and returning techniques you can pull off during battles. The directional air dodge enhances mobility. It can come in handy when recovering from a fall. However, if you dodge too much, even on the ground, you'll be wide open to attack and your duration of intangibility gets shorter. You can execute short hop attacks by pressing the A button and jump at any time. Also, you can smash attack by pressing the A and B buttons just like the previous game. A perfect shield occurs when you release the shield button. Until now, you were able to pull it off without any major risk, but going forward, you'll need to time it carefully. For one-on-one -on -one battles, the damage dealt will now be greater than in battles with higher numbers of players. This should help ensure that the action is well paced. In a timed battle, the fighter in the lead will sometimes flash with light. Better do something or no victory pose for you. We've got something special for your playing pleasure in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Nintendo GameCube controllers can be used in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. For many of you, it just isn't the same without them. Not to mention, all Super Smash Bros. series amiibo figures are compatible this time as well. In fact, all fighters' current amiibo figures will be supported, even if they're from a different series. Tap a compatible amiibo figure to add in a figure player, or FP, and level up. Your FP data from previous titles can be transferred. We hope you're as excited as we are. Our staff will continue working hard until the game releases. We really appreciate your support. We've made including every single fighter ever our number one goal, so I'm kind of hoping you aren't expecting too many new challengers. However, we do have one more announcement. Please, take a look.
Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Nintendo Treehouse Live from the Los Angeles Convention Center and E3. Minasan o h a g o z a i m a s Los Angeles no E3 Kaijo no Nintendo Treehouse Live no Haishin e y o k o s o I'd like to say thank you to everyone around the world for tuning in to our Nintendo Direct as well as our fans in Japan. Zen Sagai no Minasan ga Nintendo Direct o m i t e t e t a i t e So she took me Nihon no Kyakusan mo m i t e t e t a i t e d o m o a r i g a t o g o z a i m a s I am Bill Trinan. I am here with Nate Bildorf and Eric Smith from the Treehouse. I'm the Treehouse of Bill Torin and Nate Bildorf and Eric. Alright, guys,、uh, you were just watching the Nintendo E3.、Um, I just got a few things to say about it. For one, you, you know, in, in the video you've seen where they have the new Mario Party come out, and it looks like they finally split the guys up to where. They're not all in one car. That was one thing that I was looking forward for them to do. Hopefully, they do do it.、Um, um, I was hoping for some kind of Mario Kart, which I, I figured it wouldn't happen.、Um, I was hoping for a Mario Brothers、uh, 2D platform game. It didn't happen. Honestly, I'm not a big Super Smash Bros. fan, but I, you know, I think it might be a good game for those that do like it.、Um, they did have all the characters in the past and then a couple of new characters. But all in all, I think the E3 was a complete letdown because they didn't have hardly any new stuff to show. All the stuff they did show, most of the three, the third party games they had was all. Not that good. I mean, they said that Nintendo was supposed to beat everybody out this year with the E3, but that was one of the worst E3s I've ever seen. I mean, Xbox completely blew it out of the water with、uh, doing a great job. I mean, they showed so many new games. I mean, they showed Horizon 4, Forza Horizon 4, they showed a new,、um, I can't remember the name of it, the new.、Uh, A new shooting game. I can't remember the first party shooting game they have. I can't remember. But they showed it. They showed a lot of stuff on Xbox that was really good. The only thing I think was exciting about the Switch, the Nintendo, was the Fortnite, which I'm showing you right here.、Um, we don't know a whole, whole lot about it, but on this right here case, they're showing, they're showing Mario, they're showing all the characters on Fortnite. So I don't know if you actually are able to. Get the skin as a Mario. I don't know. We'll find out.、Um, it is on the shop right now. So if you got a Switch, you can go on there and check it out. But I'm really, I'm really wanting a 2D platform game because I don't like third party. I like third, I don't like 3D Nintendo games. The uh, um, Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, it looks like a great game, and I'll probably get it sooner or later whenever it comes down off of $59, if it ever does.、Um, I'll probably get it sooner or later, I guess. But it's just not the game that I like.、Um, I'm waiting on a 2D platform, and I'm wanting a Mario Kart 9 so bad I could spit. And everybody else is too. I mean, Mario Kart 9 is what everybody's waiting on. I mean, they feel, I guess Nintendo feels like when they ported. Mario Kart 8 over and put all the extra stuff on it, they, they felt like, I guess, that they put a new game out. It was not a new game. I mean, you, it was the same thing. The only thing they'd done was give us all the DLCs on it and added a new battle, and which they should have done in the first star. All that was is the, 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 all that was is fixing the screw up they'd done from the Wii U. So,、um, That's my thought on E3. Please leave a comment in, in, on the, the bottom to let me know what you think about everything. But my, my, my thing was the only thing they had good was the Mario Party and the Fortnite. So you let me know. I mean, if you're a Super Smash Brothers, then good for you. It's a brand new game. They didn't port it over, so I'm glad they didn't port it over. I mean, I think the porting over is good for some games, but I was honestly thinking they would port the. Uh, Mario Maker over, which they didn't do. I don't know what's wrong with them. I mean, that was the worst E3 Nintendo's ever done in my eyes. 
I mean, they, they were talking like it was going to be a really good, they had extra time. I mean, that wasn't, you seen what it was. It was only like 40, 40 minutes. I mean, Xbox had an hour and a half. They done an hour and a half. Even, even PlayStation done like two hours. I mean, they were talking like Nintendo was going to do a really, really long time and they only done 40 minutes. I mean, that's ridiculous. And most of the games they showed was like, looks looks like Super Nintendo games. If I want to play in the Super Nintendo, I'll go back to my original Super Nintendo and play the games off there. I don't want Super Nintendo games for the Switch. So whoever is making these god-awful video games for the Switch and thinking that they're going to compete with Xbox, it, they're out of their minds. I mean... I don't even have a Switch yet. I'm waiting for some good games, and the good games that that I think should be coming to the to the Switch is not there yet. So until they give me a game that I like, I will not buy a Switch. I mean, good for you if you like the portability portability, but I don't think it's worth getting crappy games for for uh, portability. If I want portability, I'll go buy a 3DS. I'm just telling you, I love Nintendo, but you're dropping the ball for me. I mean, these hardcore gamers, they can come on and do what they want. But for me, I will not buy a Switch until they give me my 2D platform, uh, Mario Brothers, until they give me Mario Maker. I mean, it's something. They have to give, you know, give me a, a brand new game that was used to be on the Super Nintendo, maybe a, a port over or something. They ain't doing anything. Um... Also, Mario, I mean, not Mario Party. Mario Party was a good game, they, they said. But Mario Party is not a, pla not a hold-up kind of game. You can't rely on Mario Party to do your stuff. And Super Smash Brothers, some people don't like that sort of game. I'm not into that sort of game. I don't like it. I do like, the one thing that I think Switch has done good over the couple years, that they, or a year or so, they've had this system. They did do a Mario, um, not a Mario, but a uh, Splatoon 2. I think it's great. I think it was more of a port. They called it Splatoon 2, but it, all it looks like is a port from from the first one. And they just made it look better. That's it. All they done was put the new look into it. That's it. It was a port. I mean, they can call it a new game all they want, but it was a port for it. But Nintendo, if, if 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 you do end up watching this, give us some games we want. I mean, I don't know if you're holding off for the for your conference that you're going to be doing or what, but you you didn't show anything that I liked on there except for the Fortnite and the Mario Party, which I've not bought a Mario Party in forever. The reason I didn't buy Mario Party 10 was because you put everybody in the same car. That's not the Nobody wants to go in the same car. There's, nobody's going to win. There's not really a, I don't know. There's just not really nothing good there I'm, I looked at. But, you know, now that they've separated it, once I do get a Switch, I, I probably will get it. But until you give me a 2P platform Mario game or my, or, or uh, my uh, like I said before, or my Mario Maker or uh, uh, a new Mario Kart, I'm not coming. I mean, I'm not going to do it because I've got a, I've got uh a Wii U and my Wii U first party games right now are 10 times better than your first party on switch. I mean, y'all might think I'm crazy, but it looks almost as good. I mean, I'm not lying. I mean, no, I can't play Fortnite, but I have an Xbox one. I can play Fortnite on Xbox one and they have a lot better look on Xbox one. So it's, I'm streaming Xbox one a lot better than you are switch. So you can, you can keep coming out with these games all you want like that, but Xbox has already come out with it months ago, and and people are already levels way higher. I mean, you're you're way behind. You're just honestly, I'm not one to you know I'm not gonna cuss, but you're getting your butt whipped. You're I mean, not one to cuss. <laughs> I'm not one to cuss online. I do cuss offline, but uh, but you just I don't know. I, that's just my my opinion. You can just tell me your opinion in the bottom. Let me know what you think about it. Um, I know everybody's buying the Switch, but the only reason people buying the Switch, I think, is because of the portability. I don't think the portability is worth not getting good games. I mean, the, the few ga they have a few good games. I'm not I'm not saying they don't. Zelda, it was a good game. I don't I don't like Zelda, but it was a good game for some people. Mario Odyssey was a good game for people. Mario Party, not Mario Party, but um, uh, Splatoon Two. 
but that that the, all those games was pretty much the very first of whenever it first came out. You're going to have to come out with some really good games to keep people wanting it because yeah, you got people to buy it, but is people playing it that much now? Because yeah, you can keep people playing it with this with the Smash Brothers, but some people don't like Smash Brothers. So you're going to have to give us that don't like stuff like Smash Brothers and Pokemon and stuff like that. You're going to have to give us something. You know, like me, a 2D platform game or poured over my board over my Mario Maker. I'm a, Mario Maker was the best game on this on the Wii U. So, but I'm going to stop talking now and let me know your comments down in the section. Please remember to subscribe. And yeah, peace out.